I'm really genuinely asking you, who do you like to spend time with? And I don't mean as in your Auntie Sally or your brother or, you know, or your best friend. I mean what kind of people you like to spend time with. Do you like to spend time with people who are miserable? Probably not. Do you like to spend time with people who are always complaining? Probably not. Do you like to spend, people, uh, spend time with people who are always saying how hard it is or how much of a struggle it is? Probably not. Do you like to, I mean, think about the kinds of people you like to spend time with. I want you to just think about that for a minute. As, and as you think about the kinds of people you actually like to spend time with, the people who you, uh, you know, you get an opportunity to be with them and you're like so excited, like you, you really look forward to whoever it is. Think about those people, the ones you really love being with, the ones you really enjoy being with, okay? Think about them. Now, while you're thinking about them, and maybe you're writing a list, and I would encourage you to do that, not just about who the person is, but about what kind of person they are. Why are you doing that? I want to tell you about something. I want to sh share something with you, and I'll come back to this. As many of you know, I am a mentor slash coach, just for people to understand what it is that I do, assisting people and I get to do that with people from all over the world. I have clients who live in Australia. I have clients who live in Vancouver. I have clients in uh, New York. I have clients in the UK. I have clients in uh, all over the world. I mean, in very different, many different places. And I, I consult with companies. I consult with CEOs. I consult with leaders. I consult with individuals. You know, I consult with people who want to be better, who want their lives to be better, who want to have... You know, want, want to upgrade not only their lives, but their business and their leadership, and they want to be great leaders. And you know what's really cool is I get paid to do what I freaking love. <laughs> I get paid to do what I love. I mean, I was thinking about this last night, and it was, I was, this was actually going to be an article, and I'd sort of done an outline for it, and I was thinking about how wonderful it is to get paid to do what it is that you love that and by that what I did well, what came up last night was I was thinking about how I um, was looking forward to um, coming to the office today because uh, on Tuesdays I work out of my my city office and I meet eyeball to eyeball face to face hug to hug with people and I really love it and I was thinking about how inspiring it is for me how how much I love doing the work because it's inspiring to me to to watch my clients come in with with a with a challenge with something that they're looking at like you know they're trying to grow their business or they're they're trying to be a better leader they come in with those challenges and I get to be part of the solution I get to help them to get to that solution I'll give you an example one of the the, um, the business people I'm dealing with right now uh, high-level uh, architect and business development um, sorry, property development individual. And it helps multi-generational families take their, uh, their property portfolios, like so multiple, uh, multiple properties, and, and leverage that and take it out into the world and, and grow, their uh, grow their wealth. And he is, I mean, this guy is a master at what he does, but he didn't know how to get it out in the world. He didn't know how to, to frame it so that, so that people could really see the value of what it is that he does and really appreciate him and, and I was helping him to 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 own his value and to really um, articulate who he was and uh, who he is and what he does in a way that would have people see the enormous value and you know I started out with this guy having this initial conversation because <laughs> I'd been introduced to him and I spent oh, probably 15 20 minutes talking to him and I, and I started out by saying, tell me, tell me about what it is that you do. And honestly, after 20 minutes, I said to him, I gotta tell you something straight up. And he goes, what? I said, I have no clue what it is that you do. I just didn't know what he did. After 20 minutes of talking to me, he couldn't fully articulate what it was that he did. So he, he wanted to work with me, he wanted me to help him with that. 
and we we sort of sat down and, and we worked together and and we have been working together now for a, for a couple of months but in that first session here's the question I asked him and I want to ask you the same question I said to him tell me don't tell me what it is that you do you already tried that that didn't work so instead of trying to tell me what it is you do tell me what it is that you love about what you do and so he begins to tell me all these different things that he absolutely loves about what he does. And that is where the magic happened. That's where he got it. He begins to tell me what it is that he absolutely loves about what he does. And in telling me what it is that he loves about what he does, he finds a way to articulate beautifully what it is that he does that he couldn't have said before because before he was trying to tell me his his accomplishments and and, and his um, education and his accolades and instead we shifted to what it is that he loves about what he does and he lit up I saw his face light up I saw his heart open up I saw I, you know I actually got that this for him is a spiritual experience that he's having this spiritual experience in doing what he does with architecture in doing what he does with property development in doing what he does in helping his clients how fabulous is that and we were able to articulate it so beautifully well that as a result of working together, I've helped him to design three articles that he's out, is laid out. He's got a new byline. He's got a new one pager, and he's like, he's on fire and he's excited because he knows that the message is going to get clearly communicated. I had a ball doing that. It was such joy for me to watch this guy go from completely, totally struggling to get his message across to having this honed, beautiful, clear message of the value that he could bring. And it was so inspiring for me to do that. I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I felt very inspired in that moment. I, I felt like this was such a great hit for me. As I said, I get paid to do what it is that I love. And in the process, I got to be of enormous assistance to somebody else and potentially really I mean from where he was at shift his entire world shift his entire business I mean he came to me and talked to me about how his wife had been responding to him since the work that we've been doing together that you know she was very excited for him and that she was happy for him she felt like they were he was on track in a way that he hadn't been in 15 years that he was lit up in a way he hadn't been in 15 years and a guy the guy's really successful I mean enormously so but something was missing, that fire was missing, that heart was missing, and now he'd managed to pull it back, he got that back, he got found his fire again. How freaking beautiful is that for me, that I get to be part of that, that I get to fulfill that? So here's my question to you, coming back to where we started. I asked you, who do you want to spend time with? And I said, not your aunt, not your uncle, not your best friend, but who do you want to spend time with? And the truth of the matter is, you don't want to spend time with people who are miserable, who are, who are constantly complaining or telling you how hard it is or blah, blah, blah. You don't want to do that. Nobody does. We don't like that. You want to spend time with people who are in love. And by that, I don't mean just with another person. I mean people who are in love with what they do, who are in love with life, who have a joy de vivre, who, who, who are in love with whatever it is. I mean, you want to talk to people who are so impassioned and juiced that they love what it is they do. They're excited to do what they do. This is the person you want to be around, right? Think about it. Of course it is. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want to give you a massive gift. Are you ready for this? Because this will transform your business. I'm gonna give you a diamond here. I was, like I said, I was gonna write an article on it and decided, nah, you know what? I'm gonna do this as a live video because I want you to really see what I mean as well as feel what I mean and hear what I mean. I want you to really get this because this, this will change your freaking life and your business. I don't know what it is that you do, I don't actually even need to know what it is you do. I'd love for you to tell me, that's fine. But what I'm more interested in is this. What is it that you love about what you do? Don't tell me about why it's hard. Tell me about why it's a struggle. Don't tell me about why it's difficult. I understand that, that's the rules of business. It is sometimes. But tell me what it is that you absolutely 
love about what you do. Tell me what you absolutely love about it. Don't only tell me, tell everybody else. Tell me what you love about what it is you do. You sell shoes, you tell me what it is that you love about selling shoes. You work in a clothing store, you tell me, tell everybody else what it is about you owning a clothing store, running a clothing store, working in a clothing store. What is it that you love about that? You're an artist, tell me what it is that you love about being an artist. Don't try and sell me your art, tell me what it is that you love about your art. You write, tell me not about the struggles of writing and how hard it is and the hustle and the grind, Tell me about what it is that you love about writing. We want to be around people who love what they do. Every one of us wants to be around people who absolutely love what they do. And what's more is we will happily pay to be around those people. I'll give you an example that I gave to a client today. Many years ago, when I was probably in my first couple of years in Australia, I didn't have much money, and I had this car, and I got introduced to this guy who, uh, to fix my vehicle. He was a friend of a friend sort of thing. And I went over to this guy's place, and I was actually introduced to two people around the cars, and, uh, and I went to the first guy's place, and you know, he definitely said he could do it, and, and I got that he knew how to do it. He was a mechanic, he worked for the big uh, corporate company, and sort of fixed cars on the side. So I knew he could do it. He was doing it for extra money and no problem. And I said, yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll think about it. And he'd given me a price and all the rest of it on what it was that I wanted done. I can't remember what it was, but you know, it wasn't a major thing, but it was a hundred bucks or something, right? And then I got introduced to this other guy the same day and I went to meet him. And this guy, I mean, he was black. You know, there was oil on his face, it was on his clothes, it was in his nails. I mean, he shook his hand, it was like, oh man, you know, have you tried washing those things? The guy was grubby. And he seemed a bit sort of, even a bit grumpy initially when he was talking to me about me and about my vehicle. And he said, all right, well, just, just, just turn it on. So I turn on my car. And he lifts up, he lifts up the hood, he, and I turn it on, and I come out, and I say, "Well, I think it's." And he, he just goes, Shh. and I go, "Okay, I wait." I said, y y "Maybe I think it's the." And he, Shh. what? Shh. And he's listening, and all of a sudden, there's this big ass smile on his face, like you know, like you know, it's like he's listening to an orchestra, and I'd interrupted him, you know, in, in the in the uh, violin solo. But he's listening and he listens so intently and so purposefully. And he goes, ah, it's this. And he begins to tell me what the issue with the vehicle is. And I say, like, wow. And as he's telling me about it, it's like he's describing something that's juicy and delicious. And he's telling me about, well, you could do this and we can fix it with that and we can do this to it. And I'm like, well, does it need to be done now because I don't have much money? He's like, well, this, the first part does. You know, and he goes, that part would be about, but I, and I think it was like 120 bucks. Now, I, it was actually the same thing the other guy had told me. It was 100 bucks, but he was like 120 bucks. And, I, and he said, but there's also this. And I go, well, does that need to be fixed? And he goes, no, no, that, that can wait. You've got like three months with that. He goes, but if you don't get it fixed in three months, that's going to be a problem. And I go, how do you know? And he goes, you can hear it. And he's like this big grin. And he is so passionate and so in love with vehicles, in love with the sound of engines, and so just engrossed. Who do you think I had fixed the vehicle? The cheaper guy? Now remember, I was not doing so well financially. I went to the guy who was more expensive. Why? Because he was in love with cars. He was in love with mechanics. He was in love with being a mechanic. We want to spend time with people who are in love with what it is that they do. That's who we want to spend our time with. We want to spend our time with the people who are in love with what they do. If you want to increase your business, you want to grow your business, you want to make your business better, talk to people not about what you do. Who gives a shit? You know, you're a tailor, you're a coach, you're a singer, you're a... You're in retail, you're, 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 you're an artist, whatever it is. There's a million of them. 
Anything you can name, there's a million of them. Tell us why you love it. There's not a million of them. Tell us why you love what it is that you do. That's when everything transforms. That's when people see your lights come on. That, right there, my friend, is what will attract people to you. That's what will grow your business. I love what I do. Many of you know me, know that I love what I do. I get such joy out of watching my clients' eyes light up when I give them that peace that they've been missing for 10, 20, sometimes a lifetime. And they suddenly get that peace and they go, oh my God, I adore that. I love that moment where they, where they boom, and they break through and suddenly everything changes in a moment. That is so powerful. When I'm able to show them that thread that's run through their life, that is their purpose, not their passion, but their purpose, and they didn't even know it, and then they go, of course, that is my purpose. Of course, oh my God, it's been, there. yeah, you're right, it's been there all along. That lights my freaking fire. I absolutely love doing that with people. What do you love about what it is you do? So here's my challenge to you. 21 day challenge, 21 days, Post underneath this video each day something new and tell me something you love about what it is that you do. You can tell us what you do, but what we need to know is what you love about what you do. If you just tell us what you do, who cares? Too much competition. If you tell us about what you love about what you do, there's no competition. So that's my diamond for you today. That's my little jewel I want to share with you, my gift to you of how to grow your business in whatever business you're in so that you stand out, so that you are exceptional, so that you stand a head and shoulders above everybody else. Share with us what you love. Remember, 21 day challenge and hashtag I, what I love about what I do. What I love about what I do. Hashtag what I love about what I do. Tell us what you do and then tell us what you love about it. Put it in the comments, 21 days. Can you do that? 21 days, day after day. And I'll tell you, if you can write that 21 days, you can stay with this, 21 days, watch your business grow. As you focus in on what it is that you love, it'll, it'll transform everything, I promise you. So that's it. This is Dove Baron, full Monty leadership.com saying stay curious my friend stay curious about how much more in love you could be with what it is you do and how you grow your business purely on love till next time this is Dove Baron and I am out remember to share the show with everybody you know